Pamela Greenlaw. Thank you. I have a feeling a lot of people on the cab don't know who I am, but for some of the people who have been around a long time, I first came to the Savannah River plant 46 years ago. And over those ensuing 46 years, I, as a professor at the University of Georgia in ecology, and my graduate students have slogged through the swamps and grabbed the critters that are out there and worked behind a desk at what was called the AEC headquarters in Washington. And my conclusion then, and still is, there is absolutely no place in the United States or the world that is better known and hence safer to store any kind of nuclear waste. Now, years ago, you could say, sure, Brisbane salary gets paid by the DOE or it gets paid by a contract with the University of Georgia, but I retired in 05. So my salary is now paid by the teacher retirement system, and I am paid not, I, I'm not representing the public, I'm representing the field of professional ecology. And ecology came out and endorsed the concept of a National Environmental Research Park at Savannah River, and I am amazed that no one yet today has used the word NERP, N-E-R-P, about the National Environmental Research Park, or the fact that, believe it or not, we, we didn't set this up, the Presbyterian Church, USA, in October 99, endorsed the idea of a National Environmental Research Park at Savannah River. I've got handout materials and would love for you to keep these things in mind. And thank you for the opportunity to present these ideas.